I'm getting so tired of so many Sorakas lately. Bring Blitzcrank to pull her away from her ADC and kill her quickly or Thresh to engage her and end her miserable healing life. Leona is also just an Equinox away from completely destroying her. Zyra and Brand if they decide to burn her instead of the ADC and Karma if she goes for perhaps an early Morellonomicon to deny her her healing are other viable choices too. Soraka's passive makes a run like Usain Bolt towards targets that are low health. While her Q calls a star from the heavens that will heal her if the enemy she hits are enemy champions and also slow them. Her W heals her allies and when Max has a really low cooldown. And her E places a wide trap on the floor that silences and roots enemies after a brief delay. Soraka's ultimate is the ultimate top lane baiter. She heals every single ally instantly wherever they are on the map. Lots of people in other lanes forget about this and dive mindlessly. You are not going to be one of those, are you? For spells, she'll take either heal if the ADC goes for barrier, exhaust or ignite depending on how aggressive she plans to play, but exhaust being more likely. This might be the only instance where I actually recommend ignite over exhaust if you're playing support. For the single reason that it actually also denies her her healing. Soraka has a really powerful level 1 with just her Q. She'll want to trade one auto attack with you and your ADC and instantly Q right after which you won't be able to dodge since you're still doing your auto attack animation. Level 6 when she gets access to her ultimate and level 9 when her W is maxed are other interesting power spikes to be careful about. The way that you play versus Elaine with Soraka is by focusing her instead of the ADC. She'll always be able to heal allies but not herself. Morellonomicon for mages and executioner's blade for bruisers and marksmen are great items to deny her healing from which she relies so much on. She is definitely early and late game champion but also doesn't become particularly useless in the mid game. She might also go for a warmogs and let the ADC 1v2 or even 1v3 enemies while just healing from the backline. Thank you for tuning in and remember, don't be better to tower dive enemies even if Soraka isn't near, build some sort of item that inflicts grievous wounds on her and engage her instead of the ADC in fights since she has a really low disengage potential. Ultimately, have fun doing it.